there it is. Oh my God, it, it, it worked. It no, worked. it didn't. I think I'm gonna go swimming too. This is Exploring with the Doug. My name is Jeremy, and today we are back in Oak Ridge, Tennessee to see if we can get that red car out that was standing on its nose. So if you don't remember what I'm talking about, out here behind me in the river, there is a red Chevy Impala that was wrecked about the beginning of December. And uh, it's still there. The lady made it out safe. Somebody jumped in and helped her get out of the water. I think it was a her. I'm not too sure about the details, but either way, nobody died. So that is good news. But the car is still in there and all of her personal belongings are still in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to float this car and uh, get it out of the water today, cut and dry. Now, last time we was here, the car was standing literally on its nose, up, straight up and down. It was really crazy. But uh, if it's the same way today, it'll make it really easy to rig up. And if it's not, well, we'll figure it out as we go along. But what we're gonna do right now is Britton from the YouTube channel Depths of History, he's here helping me today. We're gonna set up the boat, set up the sonar, find the car, mark it with the buoy, and then dive on it. Simple as that, just like always. So let's get started by getting the sonar on the boat and checking out where this car is at. Let's do this. You're, you're, the, you're in charge of the magnet. <laughs> the magnet? Yeah, you're magnet man. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, I'm getting slippery. Oh. All right, there you go. Jump in. All right. Oh, 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 oh Nelly. All right. Oh, Nelly. It's like we know what we're doing. It's weird. It's like I've done this before. <laughs> we called from a woman the other week who said that she drove her car. All right, we got the sonar running. We're in the water. We're right where Miriam was found, if you remember that video. This was exactly where she was at. And there's another car out here, but we're gonna head upstream, see if we can find the other car, the car we're looking for, the one that's standing on its head. And then uh, once we get that, we'll uh, we'll get this day going. Nice day, too. Yeah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. It's so beautiful, I might go for a swim. What do you think? You wanna swim with me? I think I'm gonna go swimming too, matter of fact. I was really concerned about the current running, uh, you know, cause like the car's gonna float and take off on us, but literally there was like no current today. So we couldn't ask for better conditions to do this. So this would be good learning, getting used to the airbags, cause the airbags are still pretty new to me, but uh, we're cruising right now looking at the sonar. Let me show you what I'm looking at, see if we can see the car together. goofy and there's a big shadow so it's got to still be standing on its nose yeah it doesn't look like a car so that's so it's the pull down yeah so you can see it right there but all this is just a shadow like a blip so what we're gonna do is turn around get another shot of it just for giggles start narrowing down the surge let's drop it to 70 feet turn around it's right where that pole is in front of the trash can. So I kind of got a good idea where it's at. So there's the pole. Yeah, there's the car. We went directly over it. It looks like now it is, it's, it's got a lean to it. Really? So it's still so it's floating. It's over. still floating, but it's losing its buoyancy. So it's, it's tipping over. So we'll still be able to float it. And it's like, we'll say 15, maybe 20 feet to the wheels on the, that are floating up, so that's good. All right, now we know the car is. Now we just gotta hit it with a magnet and get the buoy on it. Let's go upstream. We'll drop it that way. That way the current won't carry it. There's the car right there. Yeah, it's definitely laying down. It's a lot, lot easier to distinguish. Yeah, so we're fixing. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Stop it. 
Oh yeah, you nailed it. Like I can see, I can see the rope. I can see the car over here. Yeah. All right, looks like we hit it with the magnet. You can look right here. You can see the rope going down. This is the car, right at the side. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we got it marked. Now we got to go back, make some phone calls, regroup, get all the rest of our gear ready. Mark, this happened. Let me show you the tools that we're going to be using today to pull, to get the car to float and bring it down here. This is my idea. So we have two lift bags. We're going to hook one lift bag to each wheel, and we have 200 foot air hoses, right? And we got the tank, so we're going to hook the air hoses to the tank from the boat, and we're going to air these up at the same time while we're out of the water. I've seen Jacob from Chaos Divers do this. It's a good idea, and I talked to the police about the idea. They do the same thing, and it mainly, it's safety. Once we get everything rigged up, we can get out of the water, turn the air on, and uh, just watch the show. We don't have to worry about being in the way or anything happening or going wrong. So I think it's gonna be really fun. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get all our gear on, we're gonna go down there, bring all the stuff with us, dive the car, uh, see if we can find this lady's belongings because it's upside down, so I think we could find it. And uh, once we get done with that, we'll come back up, grab the bags, take them down, rig it up, float it, be done. Be really fun. You yeah. excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> all right, we got all the stuff of the boat loaded up. We're ready to go. Brit, super excited. Really We've got a couple fans that joined us. What's your name? <laughs> Kevin and Ian. Kevin and Ian, y'all like best buddies or brothers or something? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> They came by to so they saw me and they actually recognized me. You can't tell you how, how happy that makes me that people noticed me. I feel like I feel like kind of a big deal. I don't know if you knew that or not. But uh, either way, we're gonna go down to the buoy, dive it, see what we're looking at. All right, Britt, let's start. I'm thinking we each take a bag down right now, hook it up, and then see if we can find any goodies inside the car. Yeah. Until we're tired of that. And then uh we'll have to Make sure we come back up and we'll hook the hoses up and take them back down. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. There we go. See what happens?
All right, so we got all the hoses hooked up. That was a lot more work than I expected, but now we're gonna turn everything on and see what happens. I'm predicting failure, but you know what? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Man, I can't. I'm, I'm mildly nervous. <laughs> right, let's see here. Hmm. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Why does it make me so nervous? <laughs> You're just gonna see it shoot up out of the water. I hope it does. <laughs> My biggest fear is the line's gonna rupture some because there's a kink in it. Coming up above the water over there. Oh, oh there. there it is! Oh my god, did it? It worked. It no, worked. it didn't. It didn't. It looked well. There's something on that bag. Yeah. Oh yeah. It worked, man. It worked. All right, we gotta roll. <laughs> Let's go. Man, this thing is like. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, that's like really cold. Dude, these are frozen solid, man. <laughs> All right, so we got it. I can't believe it, it wasn't violent. I can't believe it, dude. Dude, this thing is like, it's solid ice. It's solid ice? There we go. This oh thing froze God. solid. <laughs> oh God, dude, we got it. It's floating down the river. I know it is, man, we gotta roll. Get in. <laughs> Here. <laughs> A long, good rope. So as you can see, we got the car floated. This is really crazy. It, it's, it's awesome. What can I say? It's really awesome. And the heart, the car is in the current, headed this way. So what we're gonna do is go get a longer rope, hook onto one of the airbags, so we can kind of guide it over here to where we want it. And then the tow truck guy, they can show up and just hook onto it and pull it out. Simple as that. All right, so Britton's going out right now. He's gonna hook up the tow line to the, uh, to the. I think it's the, I don't know, it's one of the wheels, but uh, theoretically, this should come up on its wheels. So, fingers crossed, let's see what he can pull off. <laughs> was that easy? That's pretty, that's probably the easiest rigging ever. Car's pretty smashed up now that we're looking at it. <laughs> Man, that thing is wrecked, dude. Seen better days for sure, dude. All the, none of the windows busted out. Like all their stuff still should be in there. So we finally got the airbags broke free. I was really worried that one was gonna get damaged, but the car's out of the water now. 
Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was incredibly difficult, but thanks to quality towing here in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, they helped us out, called them up, and they came out here. Let's talk to them real quick. Huge thanks to quality towing. Yeah, man, we do appreciate it. Uh, hey, Dustin? No Thank you, guys. Yeah, buddy. We appreciate working with you guys again. Yes, sir. We know there's another car out there still sitting there, but this one was, this one was fresh, so uh, we'll go from there. But. Uh, like we told you before, anytime you guys are in town doing your thing, just give us a shout. You know, we're we're here to help everybody out as much as what we possibly can. Awesome, I appreciate seven, it. So thank you very much. We really appreciate this. No, it's no problem. I guess I'll just tell the lady. I was like, if you want your stuff, go go see you guys. Yeah, yeah. just just let her know. It's she, it's, she, uh, it's going to be a quality towing. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday. Uh, office is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., but the truck's run 24 hours. Uh, but the car will be down there. She can come by, see us, get all of her stuff out. Cool. Look, look through the car, uh, see if there's anything salvage, salvageable or not. Yeah. Your phone still works? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt it, but... <laughs> All right, now you guys got to do me a favor. You got to go to Quality Towing LLC, Oak Ridge, Tennessee's uh, Google page. And pretty much Google that. Their page will pop up. Then you can give them a five-star review for me. Tell them how much you guys appreciate them coming out and hooking me up and helping me get this car out of the water on their dime. They did this for free, their time and labor. And uh, you know what? That's just great. That's amazing. I'm glad they could help me. So make sure you guys help me by telling them how good of a job they're doing. It'll mean the world to them, and it'll mean the world to me. All right, so luckily she left the window down. The doors were locked, but we unlocked this one. Let's take a look inside. I mean, we could see all her belongings. There's a phone down there, and you know she's got her, she's got her, her, you know, just just personal belongings in here and stuff. And man, it smells bad in here. But you can look back there on the uh, on the window. There's her wallet. That's what she was looking for the whole time. And I think there's something else down there. But and you can see there's the other phone sitting there. She got a knife down there on the floorboard and. Nothing else really too exciting. I'm not gonna go through her stuff because she's, it's her stuff, you know, but obviously I mean, there's two phones and the wallet in the back. So that's, that's what she was looking for. So hopefully she can do something with that. I look like a disgusting mess and do I need a shower? I'm covered in mud and oil and gas, and whatever else, but we succeeded, man. We got the car out of the river and uh, I've never used the airbags before. So that was a great uh, day, you know, and I used uh, Jacob's technique with the hoses and stuff. Worked great. Only thing I did notice was that the, uh, the, the, the doodad on the tank, I don't know the name of it, sorry, but it froze up. It still worked, but it got like ice on it. So I don't know if that's just how it is or what. You guys tell me. But the day is over. I got to clean up this mess before we lose all the daylight. Make sure you hit up Quality Towing. Tell them thank you because I'm going to do the same thing. You do the same thing. We all win. Anyways, my name is Jeremy. I will see you guys on the next dive. Wah.